Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy Kid Inc. Young California Build. Make sure you go to youngcalifornia.com and check out what we doing over here on the West. You already know what it is, alumni in the building. Ooh. Yes, sir. B95, Young Jizza up in here. Young California special guest in the building, Kid Inc. Ooh. What's going on, Jizzo? How you doing, family? Chilling, man. You know, up a little, a little early these days. It's a little early out here. Now, first of all, I got to say uh, congratulations to you because you've just been yeah. recently signed to a major label, RCA. Congrats. Yes, man. Thank you so much. So what made you, because I know you had quite the success on the independent yeah. level, and I know a lot of people like to stay independent, the independent grind and everything. Yeah. So what made you want to take this step? Um, it besides was really, the check, <laughs> I mean, besides you know, just wanting to have that extra, you know, backing and funding, of course, to do bigger things. It was like, what can I do brand new? Besides, of course, I feel like you know, I could keep doing the independent thing and do a mixtape and then do another independent album, you know, get some good money because it was definitely you know, some money rolling in from the independent album before yeah. the major label deal, so it wasn't like the biggest pressure for the dough more than just. What can we do bigger and yeah. better than? How can you expand yeah, yourself? Yeah, how can we expand it? I just, you know, I'm not really the type of person to get, you know, what I'm saying, stay stable and be at the same spot and keep doing the same thing over and over and feel like it's working more than like I gotta do something brand new or I'm not really testing myself for doing, you know. So, and the biggest scare for people was if you sign a major label deal, you're gonna change or yeah. you do this and that, and I guess that's my biggest. You're gonna be a sellout, yeah. all that. Yeah, exactly. So I guess that's that was more of a challenge for me to be like. Yeah, I'm about to go do the label deal and show them that it's not necessarily. You can still stay like to your that. roots. Yeah, you yeah. can do that. It's just that's up to the people that do it. Just, you know, that want to. Well, it's it's always good to see a West Coast artist on the come up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, being from the West Coast, Cali all day. It, who besides yourself are you liking coming out the West Coast right now? Um, it's a lot of people that even I just saw that new Double um, XL freshman list, and it's a lot of West Coast artists on there still, like Ty Dolla Sign yeah. and Problem. Still, you know what I'm saying? YG's still out there doing this thing. He just dropped that new hot tape. Yes, sir. Um, Casey Veggies, Schoolboy Q, the whole TDE. Like, it's a, it's definitely, yeah. a, you know, even when I just go through it and think about it, it's a lot of West Coast artists that are working and trying to, you know what I'm saying, come out and do big things. And it's dope to see. Now, are we going to see any, any collabs with any of these guys? Of course. I mean, I've already, you know, done collaborations with Ty, and, you know, he just got his new situation. And problem we you know what I'm saying been in the studio man we're mad cool so it's yeah. like just really about getting the time to get in the studio and get the work done and it's like the perfect time for me now because I'm recording trying to get the album done maybe you know a mix for here and we'll, we'll see how it goes <laughs> all right so uh we gotta talk about your new single badass you got a uh, Wale Meek Mill on there um how did this collab I mean is this a label thing or did you just really nah, link up with these dudes it was really one of those things where like I got in the studio my boy Devin Cruz who made the beat was like yo I got the best beat 40 years over that I made 2012 you got to get on this and I hopped on it and had this simple idea and thought about it like who could I you know what I'm saying get on this song because I only dropped a verse and a hook I was like we can leave it up before the feature and just make it explosive it's like me easy I even started freestyling like yo me will come off like this yeah. let's get it done it'll be done he'll do the verse easy so he came through to LA when he was just off and just did the verse quick had some time and then after having the record together it was like well who else could we get on here explosive? I had another verse that was like eight bars, but it was like, if we get somebody else on here, it could be a really big song. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are dropping the records with just two major features, and it's just explosive for the fans. And the first idea was like, really, well, we could get Wale on the record. They are, you know what I'm saying, same label. We've never yeah. had a record before together, so it's something brand new. But at the same time, you know, with the Meek situation, the MMG is familiar to the yeah. people you already have. So. And Rick Ross had already reached out before the major label deal. It was like, yo, we like what y'all doing over there in alumni. And even just shouted out, you know, it's room, you know, if you want to, you know, however yeah. your situation's going. So, the, you know, it really wasn't label situation all the way. The Wale probably, you know what I'm saying, the connections of just getting to him and meeting him because I never met him before. But we ended up meeting at the video we just shot recently. He's been nice. cool, so it was dope. Okay, well, one last thing before I let you go. What is... What can we expect from Kid Ink in 2013? 2013, definitely expect an album. Okay. Probably a mixtape, because I just make so much music, man, and I never like holding it. And really a lot of, um, probably a lot of behind the scenes work that a lot of people just don't know, writing wise, just writing hooks. Right now I'm just trying to get a lot of different placements of hooks and stuff and just show people, you know what I'm saying, not really show people, just, you know what I'm saying, prove to myself, you know, that you I have that Just do a little bit of everything without 
at the same time, when you do a little bit of everything, though, you still got to focus. Yeah. You can't, you know, be a jack of all trades because then you just be a little good at everything. Yeah, yeah. But you got to, you know what I'm saying? I still try to focus on the artist side more, but nice. I want to just get back into producing and writing more. For so there it is, man. West Coast in the building, Kid Inc.